Okay, so it's been a couple months since my last general favorites video. Quite a few things here, so I'm just gonna start off with the first thing. This is the Glossier Haloscope, and it actually comes in two colors, quartz and topaz. I did a full review on this product, um, which I'll link down below in the description box. I also have a promo code, which will still be available up until July 5th. It's for $5 off any purchase on Glossier.com, and the code is Halo Christine. But I really like this one. This is quartz. It's because it's just like a pearlized highlight basically a classic highlight and then there's a moisturizing core right here that's made of like a bunch of different types of oils um the texture is almost like the um bomb.com the center core and the outside is very much like a normal highlighter so when you put the two together it creates like a very balmy texture that blends in super easily and it's in a very convenient package so i really like this and i've been reaching for this a ton i actually have a ton of other highlighters too but i reach for this the most just because it's so convenient okay so i want to talk about this pin right here it's a little u pin she has a store in highland park called shop nona and it's just a very simple u pin and it's actually very reasonably priced. Like I remember looking it up on her site because everything in her site is like Rachel Comey, really cool brands, right? But they're very much high-end brands. And then she carries this, which I believe she makes. Um, it's just a simple brass U-pin like this. And what you do is you put it in your hair and it keeps it up. So I usually just keep it in my purse. It's just a very convenient tool to carry around if you're not like really into using a hair tie. So what I do is I tie my hair up in a bun and then what you have to do is kind of lock it in. So what I do is I pop it in from the middle and then wrap it around. So obviously it takes a bit of practice. There's a little bit of a learning curve, but after I did it the first couple times, I kind of got a hang of it and then I started to do it very tight. So it stays in all day. Um, and then also if you face a mirror, then you can kind of get the stragglies. So all the hairs that are like out of the place, you can kind of get it in there. Um, and then also if you do it on slightly damp hair, it just stays, locks everything in. So this is a definite must have for the summer. I love how minimal it is, it's so simple. On the subject of hair, so my friend Sissy, who used to work with me at Band of Outsiders, she worked in PR and I worked in e-commerce and our desk was actually right across from each other. When we went out to dinner, she was like, yeah, I just, um, I just interviewed with Aesop. And I was like, oh my God, I, I was floored. I was like so excited for her. I, I think I was more excited for her than she was excited for her. But in any case, um, I'm like, my whole bathroom is basically a stock list of Aesop. Everything in my bathroom is Aesop. So she asked me, have you tried the shampoo and conditioner? Because apparently the owner used to be a hairstylist. I'm like, actually I haven't because I just use cheap shampoo. I just use um, Head & Shoulders 2-in-1. So literally the conditioner and shampoo in one tube. And that works great for me because I have super thick oily hair. Anyway, so she gave me this. So this is the classic conditioner with bergamot mint. And then this is the nurturing shampoo with grapeseed. And I really like these two um, together. They smell completely different, so you would never really think to pair these two together. I love the smell of like Aesop products because it's just very classic, non-offensive super adult in a way so like not fruity not fussy or anything like that so this combination is incredible so the shampoo really does cut through my thick ass hair and then the conditioner i love a little bit of mint in it it just makes everything feel so fresh and then you get wafts of it throughout the day so when you're walking around especially with like me because i have such long hair i get wafts of my shampoo every once in a while and with head and shoulders it's nice it's clean and everything but on special occasions i use this and it just gives my hair so much volume like in the best kind of way so like nice controlled volume so yeah this is definitely something i highly recommend if you like to splurge on your shampoo and also i want to add it's called Aesop, not Aesop, or Aesop. It's Aesop. So recently I received a huge package from um, Milk Makeup, and I've already been a fan of their makeup line. I have like a few of their products already. So when they sent me this, this is Quickie, it's a lip and cheek stain basically. I meant to buy this, but I bought the wrong color. Um, and then when the wrong color came, I just used it anyway, just because I like the smell of it and I like the formulation. But this is the correct color that I was going for. So Quickie is like a sheer berry stain. It looks like kind of like grape in the tube, very intimidating in the tube. But once you like swipe this on your skin and kind of just dab it in a little bit, it stains your cheeks all day. It's what I'm wearing right now. It's just a very subtle glow, which I love. If I were to only wear one makeup product for the summer, it would be this for sure, because it's just so not fussy at all. And... I mean, you use it for your lips and your cheeks and it gives you like a healthy flush. So I love this so much. 
And then also, I got this, which is the lip salve, and it smells a little bit like lavender oil, which I love lavender. And it's a very sheer, like, rose tint, which, I mean, if they said that there's no tint to it, I would believe that too, but it's a little bit, like, iridescent. It just leaves your lips really moisturized. If you get this and keep it next to your bed, you're gonna reach for it so much. I've been reaching for this every single night, and... I just can't get enough of it. The texture is just out of this world. It just sinks in and totally moisturizes your lips. So I love this. If you like shiny, moisturized lips, but you don't like gloss, definitely try this out. Go into a Sephora and try it out. Give it a whiff too, because it smells so good. It smells like lavender, but just very, very subtle. Not too much at all. And like, if I didn't tell you that it was lavender, then you probably wouldn't even know. So I recently started using Tatcha, maybe a couple months ago, and I went through like this whole small sample um, product like intro line. Um, I plowed through most of the products. I'm still using up like a couple products, but I started using this right here, which is the Balanced Perfe Perfecting Gel, which is moisturizer. And then also the Silken Pore Perfecting Sunscreen with broad spectrum SPF 35. And these two together are amazing. This is meant for like, if you have, I guess oily skin, which is what I have. So you put this on, and it, it's a moisturizer, which is so strange to me because I'm so used to having a like a creamy type moisturizer. So when I put this on, it just, just kind of sinks right in, and then it dries, and it's not tacky or anything like that. Immediately afterwards, I follow it with this, and I love this as an SPF. I think you can tell. I used so much of it already. It doesn't smell like a normal sunscreen, which I really like. It smells almost like a tangerine, clean, very non-offensive. And the texture is almost like a silicone primer texture. So once you put it on and you put your makeup on, it just settles in perfectly. Not greasy, not shiny or anything like that. So I love this. If you're looking for like an SPF that leaves your skin just very silky, highly recommend this. So my friend Maya works for Poketo, which is a really cute store in downtown LA. It's like in the artist district area. And, um, they started this collaboration, this candle's like hot right now because I've been using it, but it's with um, PF Candle Co, which is a very famous candle company, and it's a soy candle, and then the scent is tangerine and vetiver, and I know I talked about this before because as soon as I got it, I've been using it so much since. Every time I come home, I reach for this first bit. It smells so good. The tangerine is very subtle, and then the vetiver, I don't really know what vetiver smells like, but it smells a little bit like basil to me, so... It's just a very nice, calming scent. I think it would be great for the kitchen, but I use it in my bedroom, and I love it so much. I wish everyone can get a whiff of this because it smells so good, and I believe they do carry it online as well, so I'll link um, the product page down below. For my favorite tea, I've been drinking this a lot lately. So this is from Mariage, which is just like a French tea brand. It usually comes in these tins right here, but these tins are super expensive. I think they're like a little bit over 30 bucks for just a tin like this. Um, but my friend Danielle, who's obsessed with tea, she has like a million of these. She found out that if you buy them in these little packages right here, um, you can just refill your tins. And then, um, yeah, and it's a lot cheaper. And I believe this is like around $9 if you just buy it in these little packages. Um, and then obviously you have to pay for like shipping. So I think I paid $13 for this which seems like a lot, but it's actually very cheap in comparison to this, which is like $36. This is Marco Polo. It's a fruity black tea. It smells so good. If I can drink this every day, I would give up coffee completely. And the coolest thing about this, I've always had it hot, but um, I went over to her house once and she had it cold, so she just brewed her tea and then like stuck it in the fridge. When it came out, I took a sip of it and it tastes completely different, but both so good. So good when it's hot, so good when it's cold. So I think this is gonna be my favorite tea for the summer because I'm gonna make iced tea out of it and it's gonna be delicious. For a YouTube favorite, I've been following this girl for quite some time and it's so funny because she messaged me one day and she's like, hey, I watch your channel and I found out that you just live in, you live in LA, so like we should meet up and hang out. Anyway, Serene Wu, she's a YouTuber who's very, very consistent. She does around three to four videos a week, but she has like Tester Tuesdays, Makeup Back Mondays, Sundays with Serene. She makes a lot of videos and she's very consistent with it. So if you like beauty reviews and you like beauty videos, highly recommend checking out her channel. She also has a vlog channel as well and she's hilarious but I think her beauty channel is just amazing and she just drops so much knowledge on you there's so many things out there that she's reviewed um, and then before I purchase something I always like look up reviews online um, and she recommended this like bourgeois foundation 
ages and ages ago so I purchased it and it ended up being one of my favorite foundations out there yeah so I always like go to her channel for product reviews and like um, first impressions and whatnot so highly recommend checking out her channel all right so for a record favorite I actually got this EP a while ago this is Durando um, he's like a I guess he's more like soul um, he's with Ubiquity Records, which is a record label out of, I believe it's Costa Mesa in California. So pretty close by. Um, but they just have the coolest bands and coolest artists on their label. The reason why I found out about this song is because it's in a skateboard video. Um, my boyfriend watches a lot of skateboard videos and I like to watch with him. Not because I like skateboarding or anything, but because the music that they use is always so good. So yeah, I found out about this song, didn't I? through a um, skate video. But then, he also has a full album right here. And this album is called Let My People Go. This song's also on it too. He's got a lot of soul, a lot of passion in his voice. He's from Berkeley, I believe, in California. And this record is really fun to sing along to. So, um, great for Sunday mornings. Great for like mellow, lazy mornings. If you want like a chill album to listen to, like dinner music, highly recommend this. Okay, and then the last thing I want to talk about is this right here. So my friend Austin is, um, he lives in Santa Ana. I met him through working at Ice Society. But he has a beehive in his backyard. And he makes, like, obviously he gets honey from it and beeswax. So he's been making this stuff right here, which is a hand balm. It's a combination of his beeswax and organic coconut oil. So he puts, like, the perfect combination together and then just cooks it up and then lets it set and then he sells it at his um, his art shows and stuff like that. But it's really cool because he makes a series of like a ton of other things, like a lot of leather goods. So he uses this on leather goods, on chapped skin, on chapped lips, on cuticles. Well, I use on cuticles, it's amazing. On like elbows, just about anything. And I love it, the scent is very subtle, very subtle coconut, very subtle like honey scent. And it's just a beautiful package. Like totally non-offensive, no labels or anything like that. Perfect combination of coconut oil and beeswax. I went to his last art show like a couple days ago and he's going off to like Europe for three months and he's like, yep, this is the last batch. So I'm like, okay, what? Well, it's probably because he's going off to Europe. And then he got into detail about it. He's like, well, actually it's the climate change. So his bees just all left. Like they just left the hive and he has no bees left. So he made the last batch of his secret stuff and I got three tubes right here. His first batch was like this tiny two ounce tin and then he made them into four ounce tins. So this is like a heftier package. So I have three here. I picked up the last three and I want to give it away. So if you guys want to enter this giveaway for this, um, I'll post a photo on Instagram and then you just need to comment on it. Something about the giveaway, I guess and um, I'll pick a winner in about a week and I'll send it out to you guys. Anyway, that's everything. That's everything in my favorites. So if you guys are interested in any of these products, I'll have everything linked down below and then I'll also have my Instagram link linked down below for the giveaway as well. So yeah, thanks for so much for tuning in and watching this video. I'm starting to lose my voice a little bit. I don't know if you can tell, but um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.